Israel cannot survive without support from Western governments. Four billion dollars of aid every year from the United States of America. And we've seen across the world the mushrooming really rapidly of a mass movement in solidarity with Palestine. Half a million on the streets of London last week and similar protests across the world. That puts our politicians under pressure. They're really fearful that this pressure could destabilise the Middle East. So it's not necessarily the case Israel can get away with what it wants to do because it needs the support, the continued backing of the US and of Britain and other countries. Our pressure starts to undermine that support. So more and more people are realising that peace in the Middle East depends on an end to Israeli apartheid and a legal occupation. So people are waking up and understanding. Someone came to me last Saturday on the street store when we, when we were campaigning. And she said, when this all started, I supported Israel. But they've gone way over the top, and now I support Palestine. And of course, I told her, it didn't all start on the 7th of October, you know. I mean, that's not when it started. That's just the, the media's coverage. But people are beginning to understand more and understand more about it. So our movement is mushrooming, and people are understanding what we're about. Um, and that is putting pressure on the government. And I'll finish by saying our protest can be part of a global movement that turns free Palestine from a slogan to a reality. So next week, let's meet at the station, probably about nine o'clock, let's get on the trains together, let's go to London to what could be the biggest protest ever in London for Palestine, maybe one of the biggest protests ever seen in London. Let's turn London into a sea of Palestine flags and make it clear to Swalla Braverman yeah. she does not ban the Palestine flag. That is impossible. We will not allow her and freedom for Palestine. Yeah. Yeah.